Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Andy, I'm a self-taught software developer, and in this video, I'm gonna answer the question, can you really become a self-taught software developer in 20 minutes per day, like the ab roller? So I'll answer that question. Now, the reason I'm gonna answer that question today is because in a previous video that I'll post right up here above that you can click on, I tried to answer the question, how many hours per week should you study to become a self-taught software developer? And in that video, what I mentioned was, I said, look, at the end of the day, you wanna be consistent over all things. So you wanna hit at least 20 minutes per day in your studies at the bare minimum to be consistent and to make progress. And of course, when I said that, people were not happy. Some people were not happy. Most people got it. Some people said, oh my God, this is a scam. This guy's trying to sell people on the idea of 20 minutes per day. It's like the world is ending. This is the worst thing ever. So let me just clarify those comments for people who are maybe a little bit confused as well why I said it, and I'll hopefully steer you in the right direction. Now, if you're new here, I'm Andy, by the way. I mentor people who are looking to become software developers. So I help them develop the skills that are necessary, also help learn the strategies and systems for landing that first job so they are doing a career they love. So I highly recommend subscribing. Uh, hit that subscribe button below and hit the bell icon to get notifications anytime I put out a new video. So can you become a software developer in 20 minutes per day? Is that realistic? The answer is no, of course not. Like, oh, oh, maybe the caveat I would say to that is, if you are willing to do it in 10 years or something like that, then yes, 20 minutes per day, go ahead and feel free to do it. But right now the market is, the job market for being a software developer, if you're new to the field, is about as hot as it's ever been. People are getting hired with very little to no experience. And so why wait those five or 10 years? Because we don't know if that's gonna last. If by then maybe all those, the kids who are like you know 13 and 14 now are, you know, at, are able to, are, are learning software development in school and like, you know, high school or whatever, they're going to be the software developers of the future. So maybe we won't be able to compete with them. So why wait? So why did I say that then? What is the whole point of the 20 minutes per day comment? Why would I even mention that? It seems so foolish. The key here is this. You want to be consistent over being perfect, right? So what I mean by that is I've seen a lot of people make this mistake of they are so hyper-focused on having the best learning materials, like the perfect learning materials, the perfect study habits, right? Just like making sure they're doing Pomodoro technique, making sure they're using spacing, all these different little study habits. But for them, their bar, the bar for them being successful is they have to show up all the time, put in perfect work and work for like four or five or six hours. Otherwise they are you know, useless in their minds. And so what happens is, is these people who are hyper-focused on perfection tend to fall off and they fall off really bad. I don't know why, I've just seen that over and over again. Because they're, it's like they're riding on a very narrow road, like a very narrow path, and if they start to veer off even an inch or two, they just, the car completely goes off the road, they spin out and then they, they burn out or they just get to the point where they feel like they can't do this, they get so frustrated. If you contrast that with other people, other people's approach to this, where they just, maybe they don't have the perfect game plan, maybe they don't have the perfect roadmap, maybe their study habits aren't perfect, which is really a good description of me when I first started this about five years ago. But these people are stubborn than a mofo, like more stubborn than a mofo. They just keep coming every single day. They keep showing up, whether that's watching a tutorial, reviewing their code, reviewing someone else's code, um, again, reading you know interesting blog posts or blog posts that are helpful or articles, whatever it is, they just keep showing up. Even if it's that, you know again, that measly, stupid 20 minutes per day that doesn't work, at least they show up and maybe they go a week on watching or uh, showing up for 20 minutes per day. But after that week, maybe they had some issues going on in their life and they just knew that look, this is all they could get. They were sleep deprived. They had, you know, life circumstances happen, which is what happens in life, right? And, but maybe that next week they start hitting it hard and they get those one, two or three hours per day. But I would bet on that person way more than I bet on the person with the perfect game plan of just like, I'm doing everything perfect and I'm showing up every day and putting my six hours in a day. I'd much rather bet on the person who just like knows that consistency is what is really, really important. Now there's a few reasons for that. I think what I've seen with people who are consistent is that they're much better at the whole immersion approach. And on top of that, they don't, they, it's just more conducive for their learning, right? So a good example of this is, and this is what I've seen from experience, again, of people who like cram in the studying, especially when they're, they're new. 
is that people who put in like those five, six, seven, eight hours a day of studying when you're brand new, the funny thing is after about, it's tough to say, but I would say like two hours of learning, and again, like assuming you're a beginner, is that most of the information doesn't even stick, right? I don't, who knows why? Um, there's probably, the reasoning is probably that your, your neural pathways aren't even built out for the concepts that you're learning or the, you know, the, the syntax or the programming concepts that you're, you're, you're trying to soak up. They're not even, like your brain isn't even wired up enough yet to manage or effectively manage your energy. So in about two hours, you go through most of your mental energy and then anything past that, you're not really soaking up that information. It's not being st stored in your long-term memory. So for you, you might as well be reading Sanskrit or hieroglyphs or something. It's about that useful. And I see that a lot because people will say to me, they'll say after about the three or four hour mark, they're just so drained. Their, their mind is so drained. They're, I think it's their system one uh, thinking. If you've ever uh, read the book, Fast and Slow Thinking, it's just completely drained. Or I think it's system two actually. Either way, I'm not really sure. But at the end of the day, you have to manage your energy. And so I highly recommend making sure that while those eight hours would be great, probably sticking to a little bit less, at least at the very beginning. So sticking those two or three hours, that way you're, you're able to manage your time better, you're managing your energy, and you're able to have most of that information stick. So it's not about the 20 minutes. So don't get stuck on this idea of like, if you just stick to the bare minimum of 20 minutes, that you can become a software developer. Just focus on what you can control. There's gonna be periods of your life where you're only gonna be able to do 20 minutes per day, but eke out every inch that you can and try to show up as much as you can, even if your work is imperfect. Perfection is the enemy of basically everything I've ever seen. Yes, should you strive to be perfect? Yes, should you strive to do the best work you absolutely can? 100%. But for you guys who are learning this, you've got a full-time job. Some of you guys have families. Some of you guys have some crazy, like absolutely crazy things holding you back, disabilities, handicaps, whatever you wanna call it. You just gotta show up and be imperfect. It's not gonna be this nice, clean, um, you know, pathway for it. It's super messy. And if, you, if you're if you able to just eke it out, show up every day, put in the work, do your best to learn, be humble, drop your ego, you're gonna have such a good chance of doing this. Meanwhile, those people who are complaining that, oh, I just can't find the time, I just need the perfect this and the perfect that, you're gonna be excelling past them. So focus on that, I hope that helps. So you guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you didn't, you can leave a thumbs down. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, I'm trying to go with no cuts today, no, uh, no edits. Let me know what you think about that. I'm not really sure if that's uh, good or bad. We'll find out. But uh, yeah, other than that, guys, I do have a mentoring program. So if you're interested in becoming a software developer and want to be coached by me, I highly recommend booking a call. I'll leave a link in the description below. During that call, we're going to cover a few things. Number one is I'm going to try to figure out what your biggest problem area is, what's really holding you back. We'll also talk about where you want to go, what your goals and dreams are, why you're getting into this. I want to figure out exactly where you want to go. And at the end, if the mentorship program is a good fit, then we can talk about that as well. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your support as always. And peace out. Have a good one. And you can check out the sky here. Very beautiful sky today. Also, watch those recommended videos. You really should watch those. They're really good.